Hi, welcome to the part five of this playlist. We are looking at AWS Solution Architect Professional Real Certification questions. Today we will cover these topics. So we will cover questions which are linked to these topics and please focus on these concepts that we would go through. Subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. For previous questions, please refer parts one through four of this playlist. Let's look at this question. So this box is your on-prem and this is cloud. What you have to do is you need to establish connection between these two entities using VPN gateways. Okay. Now we have to tell which one of these which one of these is not required if you are trying to configure this process. So the first one says you can use customer gateways like Cisco, Juniper. See a customer gateway is needed and where is it needed? It is needed here. You can't configure that as a part of your setup. So this is wrong here because you want to choose what is not necessary. Okay. Now, if you have a customer gateway, this is your customer gateway, this yellow stuff, it is implicit that you will need an IP static address for this interface. So this is also wrong because this is something which you would need to provide during the setup. BGP, this is required for the customer gateway. BGP will help all interface points to communicate with each other. So this is required. Since it is required, we say no. So that leaves us with only one option, which is not required because why? Why? Because IP ranges, it is not required to configure during the setup. You can add the ranges later. It is up to you. You do not require this as a part of your setup. Hence, this is my final answer. Now let's look at the next one. See, there is a physical host, this one, and your application, you know, is put on this physical host. This application will run for 90 days, so this software needs to be there for 90 days. But what you also need to do is a patching after every 30 days. Every 30 days, you need to patch all your instances and restart it. Let's look at which one of these options would suffice. The first one says run a dedicated instance with auto placement disabled. See, auto placement, if it was, uh, well, since it is disabled, so what it will do is, see the problem with A is that auto placement is disabled, which is fine, because what it does is, it suppose you have multiple uh, hosts, okay, like this one and this one and this one. So if auto placement is disabled, that means you will have to tell specifically the host ID. So if you had, since it is a single physical host execution, so you will have to tell that always launch that software on this one. Always launch the EC2 instance on this host and you have to give the host ID. Okay, And that is not so smooth because if you have to provide those IDs, that is not so smooth. Let's look if there is a smoother option than this. So let's look at B. So for now, I am striking off A. B says you run the instance on a dedicated host, which is code, and you set the host infinity to host. What this will do is it will maintain this relationship. You know, this application was on this host. This application was on this host. It will maintain this relationship because you are setting the host affinity because of which when you restart every 30 days after patching, when you restart, the chances of the application being launched 
here no, instead of here is not possible see why we don't want this flexibility that after uh, restart where whichever host they want they can launch why do we don't want that because the question says so it says it should always be executed on a single physical host same physical host it should be executed you should not keep changing today it executed here and tomorrow after restart after 30 days it executed here after one more restart after 60 days it executed here it should not happen this way this is wrong correct and hence this would be my answer but let's look at c and d c d there is nothing called license host this is grossly wrong that's why we will not even discuss this and c it is saying you create a reserve instance a reserve instance can only be created for one to three years period here you want it only for 90 days then you will be wasting if you use the reserve instance so we will lock this answer and move forward so you this question in short what it is asking is uh, where do you store the IAM policies in like what format always remember it is always JSON format the IAM policy language is used so since some people might come back in the comment and say hey you know what we don't trust you so for clarity I'm putting like showing this documentation most policies are stored in AWS as JSON documents which that are attached to an IAM identity now I would not differentiate and give an explanation for why not a and so on because this is the way this product has been designed this is the way human beings are created they have two hands and two legs so I cannot say why they don't have four legs like a dog or a long tail like a monkey let's look at this question it is saying that you can use these two policies that you can associate to a IAM job but what out of these will you use in your lambda account principle so that authorization happens first thing okay let us look out for weeds weeds means stupid options there is nothing called assume admin you can google it if you find then please drop in your comments nothing called assume admin always we use assume role second there is nothing called invoke async for SDS so these two are wrong now lambda invoke async if you have s3 buckets and if you want to invoke lambda asynchronously you can do that and that is why this is used do you have this requirement here the requirement is to provide authorization and hence b is wrong we are left with just one option sts assume role so this will return temporary security credentials which is important to access aws resources and what is this resource here the resource is lambda so this resource can now use assume role because they will now it will fire assume role if we get the credentials and it can authorize and use other functionalities so this is my final answer please hit the subscribe and the like button if you like my content your subscription and likes motivates me to put in more such contents remember these are all free of cost so please oblige me with your subscription and like let us recap this question we covered and we covered this one this one and this one this brings us to the end of part five of this playlist stay tuned for the next parts we covered these topics we covered questions linked with these topics in this part stay tuned see you in the next part